Hi there my friends, this is Benjamin here and welcome to this new training series on how to improve email deliverability. In this tip number three of this video, I'm going to share with you guys how to start authenticating your domain and email address if you are using Aweber Email Autoresponder. For those of you guys who have not subscribed to Aweber yet, you can always refer to the link in the description box below my this video. And from there, once you register for Aweber, go under the Pro Plan because only with the Pro Plan can you stop this thing called a double opt-in, which will drastically reduce your conversion rates, or rather your opt-in rate when you are doing your traffic run with different solo S vendors. All right, so this is how the main dashboard will look like. Okay, the very first thing you need to do is to move under to list options, click on that and go under list settings. So within the list settings, Go under from name and addresses and from here there's a link called manage email addresses so click on that okay so over here these are all the different email addresses for my students account now the moment you have already inserted your email address here let's say for example you put out there support at your domain all right so let's say support at abc.com click on send verification from there you have to log into your bluehost account go under see panel email go under your email accounts check the inbox Click on that particular email and verify that this email belongs to you. Before we move on, some of you guys who are complete beginners might be wondering, Ben, what exactly is email verification? What exactly is email authentication? Now, coming 1st of February, which is less than three weeks from now, Yahoo and Gmail especially have insisted that box senders, that means anyone who is sending more than 5,000 emails per day, needs to authenticate your email. The way to authenticate all these emails is very simple. Just follow the step-by-step -step instructions that I'm going to share with you guys in this video. Generally, there are two main records that are after. One, this is the DKIM record. The other one is the DMARC record. So what exactly are all these records? Now, let's do away all the technical terms. In essence, what Gmail wants is they want the person who owns the email address to prove that you really own this email address. That's number one. Number two, with the DKIM and DMARC records in place, it will also prevent spoofing. That means people who are unauthorized users of your emails to send using your email address for phishing or even for scamming purpose. All right, so this is very important. By 1st of February, if your DKIM and DMARC is not done and you are still using common email autoresponders, very likely your emails will land into the spam folder. So please follow this entire training series properly and seriously. Going back to this training. So... The moment you inserted your email address and send verification and you have verified it, you will see the email address over here and all these things will be in grey. All right, all these things will be in grey instead of the green that you see over here. The reason why they are in green because we have already settled all the DKIM records together with my student. So click on view DNS record and you will see that these are all the three C name records that they are giving to you guys in order to start authenticating your DKIM. As you can see over here, the status, everything has been installed. You have to insert all these three CNN records into your Bluehost account, period. Simple as that. Let's now move on to Bluehost. The way to do that, very simple, go under Domains. Scroll down all the way. Under Advanced Tools, click on that. Advanced DNS Records, click on Manage, Continue. From here, you will see all the DNS records of this particular domain, which is called Affiliate with Brander. The DNS records will include things like the A record. Next. C name record, next, MX record, this is the one for mail exchanger, next, TXT record, as well as the SRV record. All right, now, so the one that we are looking at is the C name records. As you can see over here, all the three C name records from Aweber have been inserted in, into my students' DNS records. So the way to do that is very simple, click on add record, under the type, choose C name, refers to, click on other host, under the host name, this is the particular one that you have to copy, so click on this button and Control V, paste it over here. For the Alias 2, go under this option, all right, so click on this and paste it over the Alias 2 portion. As simple as that, TTL, choose one hour. Subsequently, click on Add. So for this case, I'm not going to do it because it has already been done. The next thing you need to do is to add record again and choose under C name. Just repeat the same process for the second row as well as the third row. In order to insert the DMARC record, so head over to this website called dmarcian.com, all right, or dmarcian.com, they call it. Then from here, you can generate the DMARC record for free. So let's say, for example, the domain that I'd like to create a record for will be, in our example just now, affiliate with brand.com. Sorry for the typo error. 
right? Then click on Start Creating. Now over here, just click on Next. So over here, this is very important. Let's insert one of my Gmail addresses, which is the one I use for my YouTube channel. So it will be Bundle of Love Online Store at gmail.com. All right, then click on Next. So from here, click on Next again, Next again, Next again, click on Create Record. So this is where they are giving you the host record and the value record of your DMARC, and this is a TXT record. So what you need to do here again, after you have inserted the three senior records for Aweber, all right, you go back to the main page of your DNS settings and click on Add Record. Choose TXT this time around and not C name because it's a TXT record. Refers to click on other hosts again under the host name. This is the full record here. Control C and paste it under the host name here. Control V for the TXT value. It will be this entire row over here. Control C TXT value. Control V. Right. So this is as simple as that. TTL. Put it as one hour again and click on add. This is a very simple procedure in terms of how exactly to insert the DKIM and the DMA records if you are using Aweber as your email autoresponder and you are using Bluehost to host your domain because end of the day is very easy for you to maneuver the entire DNS records within Bluehost. All right, and most importantly, their support is 24 by 7 ready for you in case you have any questions. All right, guys, so if you are interested in any of my mentorship program, be it whether you just want to learn email marketing or the top four strategies, namely email marketing, social media marketing, running of paid advertising on Google and Bing, and as well as launching your own digital course online so that you can start creating some form of passive income for yourself. Feel free to check out all my different mentorship programs below this video, and I'll see you in the next recording. Take care.